Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brie Michelle. And I know I have not posted in about a month or so. When I tell you guys, I have been going through a breakup. I'm also in school for nursing. I've been working on our podcast, Not Another Black Girl Podcast. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that's what I've been doing. And I've been in the gym heavy, okay? I'm gonna show y'all this body later. Anywho, this topic I'm gonna be talking about for the next 15 minutes is gonna be about dating a narcissist. Now, if you follow the Not Another Black Girl podcast um, YouTube page or Instagram page, you know that we talked about this topic verbatim and we are drilling it into people's head about what it means to date a narcissist. And I'm in the car with my bestie Janelle and I literally need her because I ain't gonna lie, I started recording this video earlier and I couldn't remember the traits of a narcissist. And I think it's because I had so much going on. And I literally just got out of a relationship with a narcissist, okay? And I'm on here to spread, you know, spread the word. And if he's watching this, you know, I think you're a narcissist, you know this already. <laughs> um, and there's nothing I can do to change how I feel about this. And it's not bitterness, it's, you know, I did my research on a narcissist. So anywho, one of the traits that I researched that tells you're a narcissist would be Number one, they lack empathy, meaning they are cold to certain things when it's when it's not pertaining to them. There were times where I would be talking about my mental health and you know that I go through anxiety and suffer from depression sometimes over certain situations. And when I tell you, he'll be like, oh, just get over it, or you're just tripping, or you're just overthinking. There was no empathy there at all, including sometimes with his own kids. Okay, I ain't gonna dig too deep into that because I'm gonna respect that part, but no empathy when it came to my mental health. Number two, what's another one, friend? Um, <laughs> this is a YouTube video, y'all, so you know, bear with us. Usually, like when they do things, it's not for the other person, it's for them to look good. Correct, like, they, like, so. All the praise to be on. Yes, so meaning if the you're at an event and it's about you, they will go above and beyond yep. to show everybody they're a good person. And oh my God, they'll congratulate you to make them look like they're the good person. Like, oh my God, he's so sweet or she's so sweet. Look how she went out her way to get you flowers in front of everybody. But really they're doing that to put the attention on them. Yeah, it's not genuine. They're not doing it because they are, you know, proud of you or whatever. It's because they want to look good. Correct. Um, number three would be they play victim. They will do the most dirtiest, low down thing to you. And then when it's time to face the truth, oh, well, you weren't doing this or you did that and you pushed me away or, you know, ooh, I like that, that car. That, that, That's the newer that version. Yeah, it's beautiful. That is, that is That's the one I want, that new <laughs> all black GLE. Yeah, that That's the good. new one. And it's just shiny black. Oh, oh. I'm, gonna get it for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the new GLE. <laughs> I got the 2019, I need a new one, okay? God willing, but anywho. Damn, I lost my train of thought, y'all. Uh, they play victim. They play victim all the time. They have you thinking that it's you when, sis, it's really them. It's them. It's them, sis, because you can go above and beyond, and a narcissist is not going to care whatsoever. They're not going to care. You can be expressing your feelings, and they're going to make you feel like something's wrong with you. And, but you're expressing your feelings. It's about you. It's not about them at the time. Yeah. Um, and they definitely always want everything about them, and we just said that on the last one. Girl, this last, y'all. Is this still sticky? She's a makeup artist and she always puts this one eye lash on me where I don't like it. But that's okay. Um, thank you. And when I tell y'all, once I got out of this relationship, let me just jump off topic real quick. I have been in the gym. I've been thriving. Gosh. And I've been dating. I've been I've been dating y'all. Y'all better date. And it doesn't. And it I th I, listen, I thought that was my end, y'all. Yeah. He, he is not my end because my end is not going to be a narcissist. Anyways, okay, we need number four. So we said empathy plays victim. They try to make it all about them. What's another narcissistic trait? What did I say? They, I said they want the praise all on them. Yep. Um, make it in about them. They're liars. <laughs> Narcissists are liars. They are liars and they are hypocrites. Yeah, 
They will say vows, baby, and be lying under oath into <laughs> God. They're liars. I mean, they'll even go as far as getting baptized with you, sis, and going to uh, counseling with um, the reverend of the church. Hello. Narcissist. And it's not giving bitter, so don't comment any fear. Say bitters and we'll block you. Uh, why can't we remember all these traits, girl? There's so many. It, it, it was. Yeah, we did. We named a few. They just they lack empathy. I think that was one of the biggest. Points. Yeah, that was the, one of the biggest things. And 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 they don't apologize. Yeah, he's. he's they don't apologize. You'll never find him apologize. Because they don't want to admit that they were wrong and their wrongdoing. Uh, and you have to be okay with knowing that they did you wrong and knowing that they are a narcissist and that they may never apologize to you. You have to be okay with that. Um, I think even when they're wrong, they try to like downplay it. Yeah, they try to downplay it to make it seem like it's less than what it is when they're wrong. Yeah. Like, well, well, yeah, I cheated, but it was only one time. Uh, that's still cheating. Oh, the expensive gifts. Wasn't that one of them? Because you went through a situation, remember it was like they tried to overcompensate or something yeah. about buying you gifts. What yeah. was it? Because remember, you was like, remember, but it, was, it was, but the gifts weren't really for me. It was to make them look like they were doing everything, but it really wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It really wasn't for me. Correct. So they will buy you expensive gifts and just so they can look good. Just so they can look good. And it'll, it, 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 it'll be shit you don't want. Like, I don't want that Chanel bag. <laughs> Get me the Teflon. I'm so but you bought the Chanel bag because that's what you want to see right? me in. He that, that and nigga. It makes, and it makes him look good. And it makes him look good. No, mm -hmm. we're not making y'all look good no more. Absolutely not. Um, so there were, when we did research, they said that you have to be diagnosed with it, correct? Yes, and I think the only way you can really work through it is therapy. There's not really a... You have to work it's through it. Disease, but you, it's, you can just go to therapy for it and that's probably not. Okay, so also they said if you're staying with a person that's a narcissist or you're dealing with a narcissistic mother or anything, there's ways to cope. Can you remind me of the ways What's that there were ways? to cope? Oh, I think you need to, um, not set boundaries, but you need to. Oh, thank God we ain't going downtown, bitch. I know. <laughs> Girl, look at all that. Um, look at all that traffic. Yeah, that, we don't, we're not going nowhere. You need to, uh, like, require, like, immediate action. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you start seeing these narcissistic traits yes. you have to seek help yeah. and require immediate action immediately you can't let it linger can't. i let it linger for a long time but it's never like, I, I, don't think I was warned back on baby it. mama warned hey baby mama because i know you're watching this <laughs> baby mama warn warned me that he was a narcissist and that, that he was crazy but i i didn't listen and you know what girl i apologize you know i should have listened she was right the whole time you was right the whole time boo you was right you was right girl Listen, warn the next bitch. I won't, but you can. But anyways, um, they said that. What else did they say? They said that. Um, I'm trying to think what was another. Oh, we can't remember. I'm over here scratching my wing. I can't remember. Where shall we, baby? I can't remember. You know what? I'm going to. Can I discontinue this and we jump back on it when we get where we're going? Yeah, just stop it. And yeah, I, this is a YouTube video, so stand, stand by. Yeah, you can Oh, okay, so I ain't all done up like I was the other day. I'm trying to finish this dating a narcissist topic. Um, I am in the car by myself. Janelle is not here. Um, so this is day two of me talking about this. Um, so I did write down some things so I can remember them and speak them to y'all. Um, so again, they like empathy, sense of entitlement, um, requires excessive admiration, um, they bully others. Um, I, I remember being with um, exes in the past and how I knew they were narcissists. They would bully me. They would be like, oh, you're fat or things. And I would think nothing of it. You know, I think they're just, you know, joking. And sometimes men will joke around and be like, oh, you're big or you gain weight or something like that. And y'all know me. Y'all been following me for years. Y'all, my YouTubers have been tapped in with me. If you follow me on Instagram, you you are part of me. Y'all know I ain't never been no fat girl. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Um, they're arrogant. They take advantage of others pretty often. Um, they envy. Um, I've always dated men who were envious to me. And I 
never could understand why because I'm like, you know, you're a man, you know, you you got so many qualities that most women, you know, would would want. Why are you envious of me? But you know, they could be envious of you because of how people how people treat you, um, how people turn their heads when you walk in a room, um, as well as how things always work out in your favor, how you're blessed and highly favored. Um, so that can go, you know, being envious of somebody is being envious of them. You know, they could be envious because you bought a new house and they're living in an old house or because how you made more money than them for the month. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes they have a funny way of showing it. You know, they won't congratulate you on new things that's happening in your life. It's a lot of different things that narcissists can do. Um, they must be the center of attention. I think we said that. Like, if it's your event, they're going to make it about them where they're the center of attention. So, um, yeah. And those are a couple of things. Now, you could put more in the comments if you know any more. Um, my main thing is get out. If you're dating a narcissist, get out. And if you can't, seek help and pray about it um it it is a overwhelming um, thing to get over and yeah it's it's crazy because i never thought that i could have dealt with a narcissist and especially telling this person so many times that i can't i don't want to be with no narcissist i can't stand narcissists and I, I think sometimes as people, we all have narcissistic traits, but if everything that's in the book describes you to a T, there ain't no coming back from that. So, yeah. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And thank you guys for tuning in. This wasn't a super long video. Sometimes my videos be really, really long. And I got more coming for y'all. But like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you guys for tuning in.